Hello, hello, hello. Today is Saturday, March 22, 2025. The good news is that Spring has started. Key solutions to problem 226. It was Doppler shift. And I cover this in great detail in my lecture 35 of 802. In so much detail, <laughs> that the answer to problem 226 is even in that lecture, I believe. And that's why many of my viewers have the correct answer. Perfectly okay to search my lectures for Doppler effect. In this particular case, the answer was right there in lecture 35. So key states here, I assume non-relativistic speeds and he will check later whether that is correct. As you will see in my lecture, you see here that lambda prime, lambda zero times one plus beta and beta is the velocity of the source divided by c. c is the speed of light. And b is larger than zero for receding, and it is smaller than zero for approaching. So he made here a picture of the sun you must realize that in this picture, we are looking, looking at the sun in this direction. And the pole of the sun is here. This is not a three-dimensional picture. You need a little bit of imagination. So we are looking here, and the pole of the sun is here. So it's rotating about this pole in this direction. And so the light, th so this is the equator of the sun. So the light here, since the equator is <coughs> moving in this direction, there is a blue shift increase in frequency, decrease in wavelength. Light that comes from here is moving away from us so there is a increase in the wavelength, a decrease in the frequency. We call that redshift. <laughs> so he continues here, V equals omega r, so beta is omega r divided by c. He uses h beta, the wavelength that I gave in the problem, and he calculates here the Doppler shift equations. So he knows delta lambda that is given, 0 0.065 angstroms, which is the result of the fact that the wavelengths from the side of the sun towards us is different from the one away from us. That is the delta lambda. And so he continues with that. So delta lambda is two, lambda zero, omega, r sun divided by c. Omega, angular velocity of the sun, angular frequency, if you want to call it that way, is of course 2 pi divided by the period for the sun to rotate. 
And so he substitutes that into his previous results of delta lambda and out pops this result. He puts in the numbers and the UP. The rotation period of the sun is 25.2 days. Of course, you could have looked up online what the rotation period of the sun is. <laughs> you would have found 25.2 days, of course. So this would have been a way for you to check whether your answer is correct. Keith then finishes with such, something he promised, namely to convince you that <laughs> no, no relativistic correction is necessary because the velocities involved are much, much smaller than C. Okay, Keith, thanks for your nice solution. I assume you've copied most from my lecture 35 of 802. But that's allowed, of course. As I said earlier, many of you have this correct. All right then, for me it's Saturday, have a nice weekend, and a week from now I will post problem 227. <laughs>